No question. Yeah, no, sure. It's, 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 it's mind, I'm sure, like it is for us. But with, with Martin and the way he stays calm when everything else was going off, is, is that sort of a quality you can teach or is that natural? I think it's part of the thing is that at 23 he's already had a lot of experience. He's already been exposed um, to a lot of pressure, especially individually. And obviously he's played for Madrid. He knows what it's about. Uh, but he, did, he does it in a natural way. I think it's on him. And uh, obviously he's developing that even more. Have you seen a change in him the last few weeks since he's got the way you More humble, I would say. Even more humble. No, but it's the way he is. More humble and more hungry. Good combination. Well, I've got a question on Alexander Zinchenko. Obviously, the only fool that I trade has a place on uh, for a fight rusher and also national team Has he got a future as a club as a midfielder, as an hour and hour midfielder, rather than obviously uh, as a midfielder? He's one of the options that we can use him in, in midfield, as an attacking midfielder, as a holding midfielder. Uh, of course, it's an option. He's played there. I think he's really good and really comfortable playing there as well. So it's great to have players that can give us that um, versatility. Uh, I'm coming again about the Gazette of the Sport in Italy. Uh, which is the thing you're most proud of about this start? And which is the thing you guys, you think you guys need to improve? The most pleasing, obviously, is um, the performances with the results and the way we are playing, uh, what we transmit as a team, and then obviously getting that into winning football matches. That's the reason why we are here. And the other one, uh, the things to improve, um, is still a lot. The room is still individual and collectively in many areas that, that we have to do, and we know what it is. Hi, um, just a bit on Eddie when he came on. I've kind of seemed to be the shift of the of the match really when he came on, um, really up the atmosphere, the formation kind of seemed to change a little bit, um, just a bit on that and what your thought process on bringing him on was for that period of the game. Well, it's, it's the threat that we see every single day in training session, what he brings here. And you ask him to play, and immediately the boy is, is ready. He has no fear, he's all confident, he's all power, he's all qualities, and uh, and the boys really believe in him. So the moment that that happens, he wants to get involved in the game. It's true, we change the formation to play in a different way that I believe that suits and uh, and gets the player in, in better connection and better spaces to interact with each other, and he was really useful today. Mikael, the last game you played against Villa was quite a rough physical game. I suppose today was fairly similar. How how much of, of a help will today be for Wednesday, do you think? I think I was looking, I was watching the other Premier League teams, how physical they are as well. And every game here is it's a battle for everybody. And uh, we don't expect anything different. Villa are a top team. They have a big squad, top quality players, good manager. And we expect a difficult game again here on Wednesday. Yeah. Couple players injured today. How are they? They got chance to win Uh I don't think so. Um, we still have to to make another scan, especially on, on Thomas to see the length. But um, I don't think they will be available. Long term or fairly short? Do you think? Let's see. I don't know. I cannot tell you yet. Nick, just on, on that injury to Thomas, is that a similar injury to the one that kept him out last season? Similar area. Hopefully not as bad. Okay, and just your sort of general thoughts on, on Villa and. But I start to analyze them tonight. Uh, watch this game. Start to analyze them. Uh, obviously, we played each other. They haven't changed that much. Um, try to watch the games and uh, prepare as good as possible. But um, I said a really physical team, a lot of presence, really good and dangerous in the box, and um, and it will be tough. If you make it five wins in a row, people are really going to start talking about Arsenal's chances to do something this season. Aren't they? I don't know. We just train on Monday and uh, and be ready for Wednesday. What can we do? Thank you. Thank you. See you.